go to waypoint two. Edwards Air Force Base, California, early morning, and Boeing ground crews ready Phantom I, the liquid hydrogen powered unmanned airborne system for first flight at NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center. Engines revving, the lightweight propeller driven aircraft with its 150 foot wingspan is ready to fly and begin shaping a new market in high altitude persistent intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance. The demonstrator is designed to stay aloft for up to four days, reaching altitudes up to 65,000 feet while carrying a 450 pound payload. Moving down runway 15, the aircraft and its rolling launch cart picked up speed. I just thought it was poetry in motion, just seeing the Phantom Eye take off from the ground court, and you see it take off and start flying. We were just cheering. I was hollering and screaming, yay! <laughs> Banking over Edwards and reaching a cruising speed of 62 knots and an altitude of 4,080 feet, the aircraft, four years in the making, demonstrated Phantom Eye's innovative technology, which gives its engines the energy for sustained flight while producing only water as a byproduct. The propulsion system, the guidance system, the navigation system, and the airplane executed the mission plan uh, right on the spot. The 28-minute flight proved out Phantom Eye's airborne capabilities. Returning to Edwards on landing and touching down, the aircraft sustained some damage when the landing gear dug into the lake bed and broke. But aside from that, program leaders say the flight validated new frontiers. Everything we were trying to prove, the technology, a hydrogen propulsion system, the, the fuel system, uh, actually just behaved flawlessly. So the technology that was trying to be proven performed very well. Program engineers are already analyzing the data from this first test flight as Phantom Eye launches a new era of high altitude persistent ISR. When the demonstrator is flown again, it will enter higher and more demanding envelopes of high altitude flight. It's managing the risks and learning from it. We're testing technology for the future.